Okay, so here we have a four ton Pittsburgh Jack from Harbor Freight. So today is May 27, 2017, and uh, we're gonna see how long this thing lasts. I have an old one that's been around here for 10 years, so I'm hoping I get 10 years out of this one. Got the handle right there. Another piece. Two pieces. Nothing here. What else? Nothing here. Instructions. I think that's it. So I'll bring it down. Let's see what's in this boxes first. Nothing else in here. So this is just an extension. the handle pretty good all right let's get the jack out So this is it, this is all that came in the box. Better uh, figure this out. It has a lock, you see this? This thing is keeping the arms from swiveling up. So we gotta figure out how to get that off. So, we've got this uh, factory set lock to keep this from swiveling in uh, transportation. And we looked in the instructions, it doesn't say anything about that. So, but looking at it, there's threads on it. See down here? Okay, so if you hold this down, it'll help you release some of that tension. And then this thing simply snaps out. Little portable lock. All right. Now, the instructions say to put the handle in here and open the, or loosen the set screw. They're talking about this right here. Okay. So the end with the, square in with the drive goes in here that was not supposed to fall out so here's the set screw they're talking about put it back on I'm gonna tighten it later on but just to get us going because now we have to bleed it well we have to open the valve by turning clockwise Open the valve all the way out. The fill hole is in here, so I'm going to remove this cover. And I'll show you here where it shows that. So it says oil fill screw. Not shown because it's under this cover, which is this one. Fill screw. So I'm going to remove that little cover to get to that fill screw. Because we have to open it and then pump the handle to let the air out. Is 
this is actually a Phillips screw, but this is all I have at the moment. Four screws, two on each side. And here's the fill screw, right there. We have to open it, just loosen it. You need a pretty big screwdriver. This is still not big enough, but it made, made it happen. I believe it says to loosen it. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it for now. I'm gonna set it over here on some cardboard so I won't get dirty. Now, it says to pump, to let the air out. It says pump several times quickly. Let me read specifically what it says. Pump the handle up and down quickly several times to purge the air from the system and then tighten the fill screw. So that's it. I'm going to put it back and we're done with the setup. Now you turn the handle clockwise to bring it up. To lock it, close the valve. Just hand tight. And that's it. Look at that. It's supposed to go to 24 inches, I think. Might be a little over 24 inches. That's it. And then to release, you go counterclockwise. Now, this is a four ton. Four ton is going to be able to lift up to 8,000 pounds. Okay, now, say for example, for example, this Jeep here is probably close to 5,000 pounds. Uh, these trucks right here uh, are also about 5,000 pounds, but the one ton GMC down there, the gold truck, that's about 7,000 pounds. So that's why we got the 8,000 pound lifting capacity. I better put the cover back. So just in case you're wondering, um, the cost of the jack was $129 plus tax, $140 out the door, uh, which is pretty good. I've been to a lot of tire shops and they have the exact same brand. That's why I went ahead and got it because if a tire shop has five of them lined up ready to use. Uh, I felt pretty confident that they were okay for housings. So 140 is what I paid including taxes. And of course uh, this is Harbor Freight brand. Uh, with buying Harbor Freight, there's a 50-50 chance that you're going to buy something of pretty good quality my so there there is a lot of their stuff is junk but some of it is just as good as any other major brand uh, that's why I always try them give them a chance at least just to compare the 10 year old jack is from a store called uh, northern tools which is kind of like Harbor Freight. Uh, so this jack still works. The problem is that uh, the, the connection in here stripped out, completely stripped out. Doesn't matter how much you tighten this, it, it, this handle stripped out. So in order to release it, you have to mess with the sprocket here by hand with some wrenches. And it became kind of dangerous to be under a car and messing with that. So that's why we're replacing this jack. 
but uh, it did give us many many years of good service uh, it was called the pro series it was probably like an $80 jack 10 years ago 2007 and that's a three ton so I'm glad that this time we stepped it up a little bit so uh, Harbor Freight also has this little offers if you get uh, their app I get it on my phone and they offer free gifts on special events they have and today they were giving out a tarp and a mosquito repellent and the tape measure it's a pretty good tape measure look at that and this was free just for buying anything you get this tape measure free so that's why i like going out there pretty fun